Lance Armstrong confesses to countless doping crimes, but can his live strong image be saved? I'm Hila in Hollywood for the Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. And, so, and let's welcome in studio Vice Chairman of Reputation.com, Mr. Howard Bragman is here in studio. Um, what would you do if Lance is your, your client? What are you telling him to do this morning? Well, I would have told him a couple weeks ago, I would have said, why are we doing this interview and why are we doing this now? Because that was, to me, the most basic questions that didn't get answered. We all knew Oprah was going to say, why are you doing this now? Mm -hmm. And to stumble around and not have the answer, mm -hmm. that's just wrong. And it, it was, um, you know, the biggest problem is he thought he was solving problems by doing this interview. And in my mind, he possibly created more problems. So you would have told them, don't sit down with Oprah? No, I wouldn't have. I would have listened to him understood why he was sitting down with Oprah. Mm -hmm. Lance is too smart and too calculating a guy not to have a reason for doing Oprah and doing it now. Well, that's the thing. So he definitely calculated going in and then post interview, these next few months are critical. What do you expect him to do right now? I would shut the hell up right <laughs> now. You know, what you want to do is do one interview, do it well, and then really shut up. I think what he's gonna be doing is spending a lot of time and a lot of money on lawyers right now because I think there's going to be an avalanche of lawsuits that come yeah. as a result of this confession. There's an interesting moral dynamic going on here because you have a guy who cheated, but had he not cheated and won all those tours, he may not have been able to raise half a billion dollars in cancer research. So what happens with the Livestrong brand moving forward? Well. First of all, he's a human being, and as human beings, we're all part good and we're all part not as good. And and he's the you know sort of the epitome mm -hmm. of of humanity there by being a good person and and by being a cheater and a liar. We hope that the Livestrong brand can survive beyond Lance. And one reason I think there will be a well of forgiveness for Lance is because he's done a lot of good for people with cancer. I think his passions are genuinely real. It's his personal career, mm -hmm. his athletic career, that's kind of in the crapper right now. Yeah, now we only have a couple seconds left. We mentioned legal issues. What are those going to be? Because you would think that he would have uh, been very careful in the way he presented his answers to, uh, to prevent any major legal action being taken against him. What's gonna happen? What do you see happening? I think people who took money, who gave money to him to mm -hmm. sponsor him are gonna say, we want our money back. We, you did it under false pretenses. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of credibility issues. I think people are questioning whether he told the truth in this interview when he said he didn't dope in 2009, because some of the people who've done the research said, one in a million chance you didn't dope based on your blood test results. So this story is not over, and we're going to talk about it some more, I'm sure. Uh, absolutely. Howard Bragman, Reputation.com. Uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And for the latest on this story and the biggest stories breaking right now, just stay clicked on CelebBuzz.com.